Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about my top five Amouage fragrances for the summer. So Amouage is a very hit or miss house. Most people love it, but also some people absolutely hate it. So uh, first of all, I just want to say you want to sample Amouage fragrances before you buy them. That's a given. That's what everyone in the fragrance community says. Uh, unlike me, I just decided, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the bottles and... Uh, if I like them, then great, I'll keep them. If I don't like them, I'm going to decant them out. So uh, I will leave a li link in the description if you guys do want to try any of these. Uh, it'll be all, it will be the top line in the description to try 2ml, 5ml and 10ml of these. But if you do want to bite the bullet, these are the top six uh, Amouage fragrances I recommend you pick up for the summertime. So before we get on with the list, guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Uh, we're building a really nice fragrance community and be more than happy to have you on there. So we are going to get straight into this list uh, because I'm so excited to talk about Amouage. And we are going to list only one honorable mention. And uh, it was actually quite hard coming up with this list. There is kind of only five Amouage fragrances that I can really think of in my collection at the minute that actually suit summertime. And I think the reason why is because Amouage fragrances, weirdly, they don't have too much citrusy notes in there. Uh, they're quite dry fragrances. And actually think about it, there is, to my, uh, to my understanding, no real Amouage fragrances that are actually like aquatic and uh, a marine smell, which is the kind of main trend usually for summer fragrances. But I thought, look, I'm gonna try and put this list together and we're gonna see what fragrances I think from Amouage are the most suited towards the summertime. So that honorable mention spot I was talking about is not conventional in terms of summer fragrances, and it's this one here, Epic Man. So Epic Man is, like I said, very dry, very spicy, very resinous-y, but so classy, so nice. If you've ever smelled Polo Green, and it actually even looks the same, this thing is a little bit similar in the kind of DNA. It's like that kind of almost old school aftershave sort of vibe uh, that your dad would wear or something like that. And it's done in a really nice, classy, luxurious way. And I can see myself, for me, wearing this more towards a summer afternoon is the kind of perfect situation I would wear this in. So if you live in the desert, for example, uh, and it gets really cold towards the summer nights, this is a great option. If you live in the UK, that's obviously a completely different thing. Or if you live in like a climate similar to the UK where uh, the highest I think it really gets towards like the afternoons is like 12 to 15 degrees in the summer afternoons. And this is great for that. But the spices in here, this to me just reminds me of if you had a caravan of like a wooden caravan on the Silk Road carrying spices and it just burst into flames. It's got an almost kind of um, burning wood and spices smell to it. That's the best way I can describe this one. It just misses out just because, like I said, it's very situational. You can only wear this in a cold uh, summer afternoon environment, really. And it is also quite mature as well, so that's just something to bear in mind for this one. Uh, but really cool bottle design. Love the green in this one. Kicking the list off in the number five spot. Unfortunately, this one is discontinued, or it would move up a little bit higher on the list. And most people say that this is one of the only real true summer Amouage fragrances, and I can kind of see what they're on about with this one, probably just because of the uh, grapefruit note that they use in this. This is a very um, light grapefruit, but it's so classy. It's so almost crisp as well, dry and crispy, if that makes any sense. Uh, and that's this one here, Beloved Man. So Beloved Man, to me, I think I made a really good description of this before. This smells like if you were to put um, like, it's the smell almost of when you put the powder into the washing machine, uh, the detergent smell. Uh, most people compare this a little bit of like a um, toilet cake sort of smell. And I almost understand what they're on about with this. It doesn't smell like, you know, like urine or anything like that, but like a freshly out of the pack uh, urine cake, urinal cake. Potentially, I can see what they're on about. But if I can describe this one, it's got a really nice note of Elemy in here. So I'm really glad that they used Elemy for this because the note of Elemy is a really light, incense -y smell. 
so it can almost give off an almost sort of banana smell so this has got a really beautiful note of the grapefruit the LME in here just work perfectly give it an almost kind of lemony banana smell and it's just so fresh and clean it's just like okay I know I smell good I'm gonna spray this uh, and that's just the kind of type of guy I can see wearing this. This is for someone that just wears nice, clean, simple clothing without logos on it, uh, and they still know they look good, and I wear this, and they know they smell good. So coming in at the number five spot, you've got Amouage Beloved Man. Coming in at the number four spot, this is the more traditional Amouage that people talk about for the summertime. If you are starting out, this is probably the best starting Amouage I can recommend. It's the most safe, it's the most popular from the house, and there's a good reason, because it is good. Uh, but it is probably, like I said, the most safest Amouage. Light, too, and it's this one here. Reflection Man, and you can see how much I've used from this one, how much I've decanted from this one because of how popular it is. And, and Reflection Man, oh, God, it's good. This is a white floral. It gets compared to Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. And I can kind of see that. If you enjoy the Mal, and if you enjoy the lavender smell from the Mal, you'd enjoy this. If you like the smell of like freshly dried sheets, this is what I can compare it to. Whenever I first ever smelled it, uh, it reminded me of the purple robes that something like a king would wear. And it's just such a nice summer fragrance. It's so safe. The jasmine note in here is just amazing. And it's just so safe in terms of a white floral. This is just a kind of more soft version, a more uh, likable version, let's say, of Beloved. I feel like this one is always talked about more than Beloved Man, just because it's easier to wear. This is a little bit uh, dry. It's a little bit daring, let's say. Uh, but either one, they're very similar. So coming in at the number four spot is Reflection Man. And this is an all year round fragrance too. Coming in at the number three spot, this one, I had to put it in this list because to me, this is kind of the only real time I can see this one really shining, really pulling through uh, because it's quite a daring fragrance. In the West, most people associate the main note in this one as being feminine. And the one that we are talking about, I might have given it away by saying that, is this one here. Another amazing bottle design, and that is Lyric Man. So Lyric Man has the main note of rose. And like I said, rose can come off quite feminine and all almost kind of perfumey smell. And I've had the reactions before. Why are you wearing a woman's perfume? So it is quite daring, but I did want to put it a little bit higher than the other three on this list because this to me is the most suited for the summertime. Whenever I smell this, crisp lime and like a jammy rose in here with like the incense which is back it up which give it an almost manliness i absolutely love this one i normally wear this one if i'm wearing lighter colors so if i'm wearing like a pink shirt or like a pastel color shirt a purple shirt uh, a light blue shirt uh, i'll wear this one i apps i do absolutely love it it's very light this is probably one of the more lighter dnas from the house of amouage and it's probably the most citrusy from the lime in here that's just such a crisp lime and the rose too it reminds me a little bit of dove hand soap so if that's something that you like it can give off almost kind of grandma soap smell i've had the comparison too but if you like the note of rose and you like the note of lime which to me i absolutely love the note of rose and i absolutely love the note of lime as well i've talked about it a lot on the channel and that's the reason why i picked this one up so if that sounds like something you would enjoy coming in at number three spot is Lyric Man. And then we're just gonna take a second to appreciate the beautiful red bottle on this, like a dark red, so nice. Coming in at the number two spot, this one again is another lime fragrance. And this one is done in a completely different direction to Lyric Man. This is a little bit more dark, it's a little bit more smoky in terms of the DNA. This to me reminds me of if you were to put like a fresh lime, a fresh lemon, and you're put to put a little bit of spices onto a frying pan and let it cook and you get the kind of uh, scent coming out. That is what this would smell like. So coming in at the number two spot, another cool bottle design. Amouage just do amazing bottle designs for almost all their fragrances. And it's this one, Search. So Search, like I said, 
is a smoky citrus smell and it's so unique. I, that's why I love the House of Amouage. It's so unique. This is probably one of my best performing Amouage fragrances. This thing lasts forever. This also has the note of Cade oil in it. So I think Journeyman also has Cade oil in it and I get the comparison with maybe like the kind of frying pan uh, spicy smokiness that you get, uh, that you get from the both of them, from Journey and from Search. And Search, I've worn this in the summer day. Uh, I've also worn it in the summer afternoon and the summer nights, and it can work perfectly for both. When the sun is on it and when the heat's on this thing, the lime and the lemon and the cade oil really burst. And it, like I said, it's nuclear, it lasts forever. And to me, whenever I spray this on myself, if you've ever had like those little like nose pens that you can clear your nose with, this thing really has the same effect sometimes whenever I wear it. It's just a really nice kind of uh, uplifting, bright, but you've got that undertone of the smokiness in here, which is why this can work perfectly for a summer night as well because of the smokiness and it gives it a kind of darkness to it. Really unique. I've never smelled anything like this really. The closest thing I compare it to is if Versace Mano Fresh went and uh, turned to like, the dark side and stuff like that. That is what you would get. So coming at the number two spot, um, super good performer, but I wouldn't say this is blind by worthy. So coming at the number two spot, you've got Amouage Search. Okay, and coming in at the number one spot, guys. This one had to be here. Uh, there was no doubt in my mind on what's coming at number one spot. This, to me, is the perfect spring and 100% the perfect summer Amouage fragrance. I can't see myself wearing this in the winter time, possibly in the fall and the autumn time. The main time I wear this is summer day. It's, uh, I mean, even the name is uh, very summery. Number one spot, guys, is this one here. Amouage Beach Hut Man. I've talked about this one a fair few times on the channel recently, and that's just because so green, so ivy, minty green. I've been wearing this one like crazy this summer. It is the best performing Amouage uh, I think I actually own. This is the green beast for me. I think it lasts a little bit longer than Search. I'd probably say these two are the most high performing in the list. This thing is scary with how nuclear it is. I've had the reaction from my friend after three sprays when I was on holiday in Tenerife. He was like, bro, you need to relax with the fragrance sprays. And I only did three sprays of <laughs> of a little sample bottle by here. And this thing is great for compliments. It's, like I said, a green ivy smell. So the name Beach Hut, most people, like I said, they imagine like a sandy beach uh, with like a driftwood smell and uh, all this stuff. But to me, this is if you were to walk from that beach, walk into the jungle and you see this old overgrown hut but that is the best way i can picture this one if you were to step into the if you were to walk in from the beach you have still got the kind of like islandy uh sort of airy smell to it that you get from being near the sea but you know that you're so far into the jungle that it's very dense it's very ivy it's very green it's very sticky that's the best way i can describe this fragrance it's, it's very sticky ivy and mint but when you smell it you're like okay yeah it's green. It smells green. <laughs> it's definitely not like I'm on a beach. But coming at the number one spot is Amouage Beach Hut Man. Perfect for the summertime. So that is going to do it for this list, guys. Let me know, have you tried any of these Amouage fragrances? If you have, let me know what your thoughts of them are. And potentially, if I'm missing any, let me know down in the comments below. Like, I could have added uh, Diaman, I could have added Meander, Enclave, uh, a few of the newer ones, to be honest. Uh, but these are the five plus Epic Man, the honourable mention, that I wanted to include just because, to me, they're the most suited for the summertime. As always, guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video. It really helps out on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already and you are a fan of fragrances. be more than happy to have you. The top link in the description, if you did want to pick up yourself some of these samples and you live in the UK, then I have got a link to my online shop that you guys can check out. And if you wanted to learn how to decant your fragrances and actually grow your collection and the reason why I've got 18 Amouage fragrances is from Decant and if that sounds like something you'll be interested in learning then I have got an online course. It will teach you everything there is to know about decanting your fragrances and allowing you 
to grow your fragrance much more quickly. That said, that's enough of me doing the shameless plugs. And with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.